All right, folks, welcome back to the channel, First Responder Golf. As JT knows, we've changed the channel. Yeah. From Firefighter Golf to First Responder Golf to make the cops feel more <laughs> included, I guess. Yeah. But try to run it along more with the foundation. So thanks for tuning in. I'm, I'm happy to have JT Watson on the channel. So we're gonna do a nine hole match yep. on this back nine. JT, I'm looking forward to this match yep. and showcasing your game. And uh, if you guys are looking for lessons here in the Kansas City area, please contact JT and uh, I hope you enjoy this match. Love you, brother. Yeah, love you too. Right. Yeah. Thanks. You ready, sir? Ready to rock and roll. All right, uh, you won the, on the front nine, you won the T-flip. So should we do it again? Might as well. For the match? Yeah. All right, you wanna do it? I'll throw I'll it up. All right. You, right. still you. Same, same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, good luck. Yeah, you Let's have you fun. Well. Yep. All right, hole 10, par four, 365 yards. We're playing from the blue tees today. As you see, there's water that can be in play. The trees on the right can be in play for sure if you don't hit it far enough, if the wind's in our face, and it usually is from the south. Um, if you don't hit it far enough, they'll block your approach shot. So these bunkers here are still there. The new Billy Bunker systems with Falcon Lakes, I'll update you on the other holes, where they are, if they're new, what, how they've been changed, but it's a back to front sloping green. It's got a little ridge in the middle there. Uh, tough uphill approach shot, I think. It's, it's visually, it never fits my eyes, but here's JT getting ready to tee off. He's picking up the tee quick. <laughs> All right. Should be good. Might have cut that corner a little too tight. Must like it. Yeah. Down the middle. All right, we got 110 uphill. Wind's a little off the left. Thankfully, I don't really have any tree trouble here. Because if you hug this corner on this 10th hole, you can kind of be flirting with it. So, pins up front. I'm going to have to hit something kind of low. Keep it under the wind here a little bit. What club are you thinking? Uh, I'm going gap wedge, which is a 50 degree for me. Okay. Okay. So, I've got my gap wedge, which it should perform with that stamped on it, but you never know. <laughs> a little boastful. A little flashy. Spin back down a little bit. Well, that'll be an awkward chip. That will be. Boy, it's still rolling. Sheesh. All right. All right, I got about 114 up the hill into the wind. I have the 50 degree as well right now, but I'm thinking about switching to the pitching wedge because of the uphill and the wind. I'm going to bring them both with me just. All right, there's, we're mining it up with my pull. Got a long, awkward putt. And JT's down here. Green's above him. And it's gonna break to the right for him, so. See what he can do. His putt for par. Good putt, buddy. I didn't get up enough left. I split the difference with you. Yeah, <laughs> left a little on there. Yeah. It's 15 feet here. 
Yeah, we both got some movement on these suckers. All right, see if I can sneak this one on the side door. Put the pressure on me. Come on. Yes, sir! Hey! Great putt. Here we go. Scrambling man. Well, I gave you the read. Now you got no excuse. There is no excuse now. Oh, oh. I, <laughs> I got excited. It was. <laughs> All right, one up, JT. All right, JT there with a making a good putt there. Thought mine was going in, but uh, I think if anybody knows putting is the key to this game. No matter if we hit good shots there or not, you know, still got to make putts, whether they're for par, birdie, bogey, double bogey, still one low, one stroke less. So, all right, on a hole 11, JT's up, up one. All right, hole 11, par four, 368 yards. As you see there, JT's one up. So the designer wants to entice you to try to drive over these bunkers, but really it's best just to hit it down the fairway. You're gonna have about 130, 125 yards in to a slightly uphill green so that bunkers those bunkers are still there that pot bunker is a little bit bigger with native grass all around it but they separated that that bigger bunker there into two that bunker is still there just shaped a little different uh, uphill approach shot nice hole downwind usually all right jt you got uh, your three iron yeah i got my three iron we go from a 380 yard dog leg right to a 340 dog leg left and Anytime Downwind. I'm playing this hole, I'm just trying to get it right over this corner. Okay. So I'm thinking kind of a, a 245, 250 shot. And see if I can't get it to bounce into the fairway. Terry. That should be a good line. It's going to carry that first bunker on the right. I think you're good. I couldn't see it, but. I can't tell if it had enough height. That we'll find out. It. Well, I have the four iron, PXG four iron. Are they a sponsor yet? Not yet. <laughs> I got scared. Oh, yeah. I wasn't going over the bunker. Ain't gonna hurt you. If that's not a strategy play, I don't know what is. Well, <laughs> I, was, I, it, I, it, I lost a little ride, I'll be honest. <laughs> but that's golf, you gotta get away with the misses. All right, so we got 143 uphill. What, what are you hitting here? Well, I have the nine, but the wind is slightly helping to the right. Yeah, I'll stick with the nine. Okay. Yeah. Look That's deep. On the fringe, I think. All right, JT's 87 out. Good shot. I might be able to hit the camera with this chip shot here. <laughs> Let's just get it on. Yeah, not much you could do there. Make it put me out of my misery. Ooh. Left a little on it. Didn't get it right enough. Darn it. That's good. Okay. All right. Knock her in. Yes, sir. Two up. Good job. All right, folks, I'm gonna have to step up my game, man. Front nine. It's funny how when you get the camera in front of you, you speed up a little bit. Front nine, when we were just playing, having a good casual round. I shot one under on that side here. I have bogey these two holes, so. Uh, that's golf, though. So now I just gotta settle down with the camera in front of me. And, you know, I've let my guest feel good about himself now, so. Yeah, you were playing great on the front nine. I don't know what happened. Uh, I'll blame it on the camera. It adds 10 pounds and five strokes. 
That's about right. Okay. All right, no, he he's hit some good shots there, so uh, that's golf, man. I got to get it going, no excuses. JT, I want you to tell your story to our viewers because it kind of relates with what the foundation is trying to do right. with mental health, suicide, mm -hmm. and all that. So if you would, if you'd like to tell your story, I'd let you just run with it. Yeah, well, th thanks for having me on, yeah. first of all. Yeah, um, great, great, we can finally get together. No doubt, yeah, it's, we've known each other for four or five years now, it seems like, uh, through social media, I think, years ago, and uh, golf community kind of bring us together. Obviously, I'm a, a golf professional, so, not being in the, the first responder community, just seeing your mission uh, from afar always resonated with me because I uh, had an attempted suicide at 17 years old. Um, and thankfully, you know, that, you know, my life continued on after that. And so your mission from the get go, man, has always resonated with me uh, on a personal level. Um, and just always wanted to make an effort to get in contact with you and how can we help, you know, what can we do in the golf community to make it more, um, you know, accessible to first responders. And, and obviously being a coach, I work with a lot of firefighters, cops, uh, law enforcement, uh, you name it. Um, and, and there is a, a definite need to have an outlet like this. You know, obviously there's other, there's other hobbies they have, right? right? But um, golf can be frustrating. Golf, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> why so many choose golf is, uh, is an interesting one, but it does occupy the brain, it seems, uh, in a good way. And so it's, it's, it's been that really- good stress. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's, it's a game, right? I mean, you guys are, very much in life and death scenarios. I am not. I, I have what I call a, a fake job. I get to coach golf for a living. It's uh, it's fun. It's lighthearted. Um, but I've had so many interactions over the years uh, with first responders, military. Uh, my sister's a, a nurse. My mom's a medical assistant. So it's very near and dear to my heart. Um, we've always been supporters of military through the business at Imperial Golf up in Parkville. Yep. Um, and so it's just an awesome mission, man. And I'm, I'm so grateful that you're out here doing the grind and we just you know finally get out to play on a nice golf course and appreciate falcon lakes hosting us out here it's just in yes. phenomenal shape uh so the boys are doing a great job out here all right hole 12 par 4 424 yards so there's houses all along the left now and they've taken some dirt from that development and made this these mounds on the left side here bigger we call it mitch's mountains that's the superintendent of the course um but you can cut the corner and have you know a good 140 yards 150 yards in but if you take it too far right you got a little swell you're in the rough that rough's usually thick but this approach shot as you can see it's right there right in front of you uh, sometimes they tuck it over there left for a sucker pin but hole 12 usually a hard birdie hole all right going with the driver this hole yeah, I mean, a, yet another dog leg. We're going left this time. And uh, if you can cut the corner, 260 plus. I've, I've got just enough in the tank to cover that, I think. Okay. Over Mitch's Mountain there. Yeah, see if we can get a good one and play back into a breeze here. That'll be good. That's gonna be great. Oh, ah, over it. And then it bounced over it, yeah. Here we go. Good <laughs> spot. All right, Steve, we got a back pin. It's an okay lie. Yeah, a little down grain. Down grain. What's your number? I have 161 to that flag. Okay. Into the wind a little bit to the left. So I have the eight iron. I'm gonna choke a little bit on it and just be happy with the middle of the green. Yep. Ah, I didn't hit it. Hey, the chunk and run. Oh, I got up there. <laughs> got up there. That'll work. Oh, man. Here's what JT's got on this shot. What's your yardage? We got 146. Same wind as you, obviously. And this is kind of an awkward number for me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to step on a pitching wedge given I don't want to go long. So I'm kind of guarding against that deep play. 
with this back pin. So we're just gonna go nuclear on a pitching wedge and see what happens. All right. Good line. Oh, go in. Oh, no. All right, still good shot. Stay there. Oh, you, got a little, you did spin it. All right. All right, good swing though. Let it shower over here. All right, we got a long one here from Steve. Get up there. Oh wow, yeah, good putt. I feel like I killed that thing. This is the go three up on me. Not likely, but I'm gonna try to give it a scare. No way. Oh! <laughs> oh, I thought I had it for a second and it kind of broke back left. Yeah, I thought you had it too. Thanks. Uh, we gonna be friendly, just good, good. Move on? Yeah, yeah, why not? All right. All right, couple questions, JT, related yes, to golf. Yeah. Your favorite golfer of all time? Oh, boy. Well... You can name a couple then. Tiger's Tiger's the easy one, right? Uh, but I'm a Watson, so I got to say Tom. Okay. You know, I've, I've gotten real fortunate to meet Tom a few times. Um, I'm a Pacific Northwest native, so Freddie Couples is definitely in that top five. Uh, the modern players right now, um, I love Justin Thomas. I love what he's about. I love his attitude, and he's not playing great right now. <laughs> um, and then how can you not love Scheffler? I mean, the dude yeah. is just uh, an awesome human being. I uh, love what, what he's about character-wise. Um, I can't watch his footwork, though. It's, it's horrendous. <laughs> so I, get, I gave you five, but uh, Tiger was the reason I got into golf. Okay. Hole 13, par 5, 515 yards. JT's two up on me. So it's a straightforward drive. The wind will come from the tree side, usually from the south. That bunker is still there, just reshaped a little bit for the billy bunkers. As you can see, the fairway kind of leans to the left a little bit, so even with a good drive, it will feed into the rough sometimes. Uh, the bunker up here by the green is still there. And there's a little swell to the left. Just imagine if they put a bunker down here left of this green. Uh, how hard it'd be getting up and down as well, just even out of the rough. But uh, yeah, I always find this to be a tough green to putt for some reason. It's just the way it's shaped. All right, JT, hit a good one. Yep, straight away par five here. Downwind, see if we can put one in play. All right, the next question I have for you is your favorite local Kansas City course and your favorite course of all time nationally or worldwide. Okay, well, I've only played, I guess I could count Canada. That's international, yeah. I guess, right? Um, Kansas City wise, man, I, I, I gotta say either Shadow Glen or Hallbrook. Hallbrook is a really, really cool design. I like you know, it. Tom Fazio. Um, Shadow Glen's really special too, so I'd, I might give the edge to Shadow in, in town here. Um, boy, nationally, I, Gamble Sands really stands out to me. I played that a couple years ago. That's a David McClay kid design up in central Washington, where I'm from. Um, and then years ago, John and I got to play Sawgrass, which as a kid, that was, that was it. I didn't know much about the Masters getting into golf. And, uh, but my dad and I watched the Players' Championship every year. Um, and I remember watching Freddie win that one. So okay. TPC Sawgrass was, was very high on my bucket list and I got to check that one off in 2012. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd probably say Shadow Glen and TPC Sawgrass. Okay, good choices. That'll work. Good low one. Yep, little wind cheater. Okay. Left side. Good ball. You're hitting it well today. Best yeah. one of the group. Yeah, there ain't no lie. 
All right, right at the 250 plate here, Steve. What's your play? Well, I struggle with this at times. Part of me feels like laying up to the 100, have a full wedge in. Right. I but know I probably can't two. get this there <laughs> in two, except it's downwind a little today. The fun of me wants to just go for it, so that's probably what I'm gonna do. You're also down two, so. I'm also down two. <laughs> There's that strategy. There's that strategy too. Yeah. So it's like, okay, I can still birdie if I lay up. Yeah. What, what fun is there in that? No. No. Send so, it. So I'm gonna send it. All right, folks. I'm gonna go ahead and get up there as far as I can. Hopefully, she runs up there. It's almost like laying up, but hey. All right, JT's up here living on the edge, but he's in play. How far are you out? So I got 208 flag. It's a little bit on this hard pan stuff, which tends to give you those little shooters. So I'm kind of playing for what you'd call a flyer lie here. And we're the touchdown win. So I got seven iron in hand, hoping that everything, this will, this will kind of jump on me. Okay. Actually, I'm going to hit an 8 because this might jump a lot. All right, 8 iron. Did they hit into us? Right there. Okay. No. You might be having a beach party. Yep, bunker. Struck well, though. Yep, got it out of there. All right, let's move before you get hit again. Yeah. You're, you're up there, here's me. Reich's right by me. Okay. Yep, there you are in the bunk, right in the middle. All right. Oh, go. Now go left. All right, JT's ended up in the bunker here. Let's see what yeah. he... That's good yardage, but just flared it a little bit, so I'm pin high. Here's what he's got. Get it up there. Cozy it up nice and easy. Oh, yeah. oh we both got to make putts. That's good. Pick it up. All right. Gosh, didn't oh, hit it. Come on. That's good. All right, through four holes. JT there. He's two up on me still. Hole 14, par four, 418 yards. This one's usually downwind, but it's uphill. And the expansiveness of it, fairway, you know, the way it wiggles like that, as you can see, in and out. Um, it just, when you drive this hole, it makes you feel like you just want to just swing as hard as you can. and a lot of times I end, my, I end up in the rough left. So it's an uphill approach shot, usually about five to six yards uphill, but the wind usually counters that. They now have a bunker in the front right there. So that thing catches a lot of balls. That bunker to the left is still there. And uh, it, it's, a t it's a tough hole. I, I, I really like this hole, it's one of my favorites. And then this camera setup where I zoomed in, I was on the back tee box, zoomed in, uh, gives you a good view of that. Nice drive by JT. Boom. I think it's okay. It looked like it was going to feed left Trickled there. into the rough, I think. I'll take that right now. Shamble? <laughs> Shamble match play? <laughs> yeah, I get ball keep. That's going to run pretty good. Cool draw. Yep. So yeah, um, JT, as he said, he's a pro. I've been up to their facility and we did a, yeah. a swing analysis with John. He's John, one of your, right. your business partners. Yep. So go watch that video. It's all, is it still on your guys' website yeah, too? Yeah, it's on the homepage. Yeah, on yep. their homepage. So go check sure. them out, imperialgolf.com. Yep, okay. imperialgolfkc.com. Yep. 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 There we go. And I'll, I'll post JT's uh, Instagram stuff and everything. Uh, I know when you shared your story, mm -hmm. I'll get emotional talking about it, but that was special. Mm -hmm. He did it on Instagram. Go to his page and watch it. Mm -hmm. If 
if you're struggling out there with anything, it's a real story. Yeah. And uh, I appreciate that you shared that with, with the public. Yeah. Um, it wasn't so easy. Yeah. It wasn't easy. I, I had written about it uh, in 2019. Um, it was something I, I sat with for quite a long time. And uh, obviously being 17 years old, this would have happened way back in 2001 or two. Um, and I just kind of, I never really thought my story would resonate. You know, I, I didn't felt like I, I had gone through anything uh, like you guys see on a daily basis, you know. And so you get into that mindset where, well, my story won't really matter to people. My story won't really impact people. So I wrote about it as a, as a bit of a therapy thing. You know, it was something I had Googled for therapists. I had researched some things and being the stubborn guy I am, I thought, no, I'll just try journaling. Maybe that'll get rid of it. And then um, I had such a response when I posted it online, uh, just a written column that I thought, you know what? There's some other kids that need to see this. And because of social media and how visual everything is, um, my, my friend, Mike Savage, was nice enough to come to my apartment in 2020. So this was post COVID. We had finally opened back up and um, and I just saw this massive increase in suicide reports those, those couple years after COVID. And I thought I'd, I need to get my message out just in case, you know, if it's just one person, right? It, it'll impact one person's life. Right. Um, and so he came in, we filmed for like an hour. It just was, a, I told it, it was done. He edited it and then I left it up there. And what was kind of interesting, cause I reshare it every June for men's mental health awareness. Um, just because, you know, uh, it's one thing in your own job, but men don't like talking about this stuff. No. Man, they don't like opening up about right. being, it, it looks weak. It, um, you don't want to seem emotional. Uh, and that's what I appreciate about you is you're not afraid to go there uh, and open be those vulnerable. doors, be vulnerable, because um, it, it, it lights the path for other guys to follow, right? And, yeah. and other first responders to follow, you know, because men and women alike in that community, it's, uh, it's very easy to feel isolated and alone and um, that you're the only one going through those things. But the reality is you're not, you're, you're not alone. And it really doesn't matter whether you're a first responder or a cook, uh, you're a lawyer, you're a teacher. If you've got stuff that you're struggling with, seek help, Right. Um, reach out to people who love you because they do um, and they'll listen. Um, and if you don't, there's, there's suicide hotlines, there's, there's resources available for you. Um, you know, to, to kind of get yourself out of those those dark times. And, and we've certainly experienced those on a personal level at, at points in your career, I'm sure. I, I've, I've never really gotten back to that dark place, thankfully. Good. Um, my, my faith is a, is a foundation um, for, for that. I'm uh, getting baptized here in a couple weeks, which is a, a decision I made here just this last weekend. And um, I, I kind of was as a kid, but I don't think I really fully understood what that meant. And that's always been something that I wanted to be an example to my two young boys. Um, and it's, it's easy to become emotional as a dad. You, you'd see what life you may have not had. Right. You know? um, and the so harm, no, harm I've, all, I've probably done to him with my anger mm. and all that. So yeah, it's just a, it's a whole, whether it's suicide or the side that I was on with just anger management and all that. All right, there's my ball there, uphill, 107 yard approach. This pin is middle and it's on the far left of this green, so don't want to miss left there. All right, folks, I'm gonna go with this 54 degree downwind. Not bad. What's your yardage? 96. All right, JT's got 96. Good shot. Good shot. All right, we got two good shots in there. It's gonna be a putt off here. How did that not come? That's okay. good. All right, we gotta make birdie putts. That's why I'm not giving them this, folks. No freebies if you're gonna shoot under par. Atta boy. 
All right. All right. Back, Back to one, one up. down. All right, hole 15, par three, 184 yards, and I'm fighting back. I'm, I'm only one down now, JT's one up. Uh, those bunkers are still there. This hole's downhill, downwind, downhill probably about 10 yards, so just usually ride the wind and that slope to these pins. All right, I'm going with the seven iron. A little choke on it, maybe. Thank you. Good number. You going with your eight? Yeah, I have same same kind of thought process. We're down and down, so I like the 170 number. That's pretty much just a stock eight iron. Okay. And hopefully the wind and slope kind of get it back there for me. I think it is. Go in. I need a beverage girl back here. Oh. Oh! <laughs> there we go. There you go. That was the right number. I think that was. That I, worked out. Hey, I think that's probably almost a give me. Yeah, that looked about as close as your last shot. Thanks, yeah. Steve. Yeah. Good shot. Thanks. All right. Good shot, JT. So it's 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 a little much. He's gonna have to putt it, but I'm gonna have to make mine. So I don't go too down. Nope. Boy, is it There's that right. I think I pulled it just a smidge. Okay. All right, go for it. All right, knock it in. Good job. Thank you. Two up. Two up. Three to play. Par five coming up, so very scorable hole. Downwind. Two up, three to play. There's a lot can happen. There's yet. a lot. I agree. It's golf. That's golf. All right, hole 16, par five. 515 yards, JT birding and on me going two up now. This is one of my favorite holes on the course. Um, it's kind of a semi-blind tee shot if you want to say. You can't see the landing area down there usually, um, depending on the wind's doing. If it's into you, you see your ball land and it rolls. But So these bunker, this bunker on the right, bunker on the left are still there, just reshaped, and the bunker in front of the green is there. Uh, it's one of my favorite because you know, it's a blind approach shot usually, and you can feed it down that slope onto the green. Those, that cart path is much further left now, so it's a much better golf hole. One of my favorite on the, at Falcon Lakes. Now it'll be flirting with it. Yeah. All right, well, I still got to hit a shot, so. Good miss. Got away with it. I'm popping up, but I'm getting away with them. Right down the middle. She's running. All right, folks, 257, it says on the car, it's downwind, downhill. Let's see if I can run it all the way down there. That's going to be right before that bunker. So what we do on this channel for pace of play reasons, that's just a one stroke penalty. Yeah, I mean, that's typically this yeah, stuff's going to be hazard. marked, marked yeah. red anyhow. Yep. So I got like 210. Yeah, even even on out of bounds, we just do one just to speed it up. Yeah. So about 210? Yeah, I've got seven iron just to try and get it up over this mound. Hopefully I can get something on the putting surface and give myself an outside shot at staying in this hole here. All right. That's a good line left. It's good. Get down. You caught it good. Yeah. Shoot, that could kick right. Good for you. We'll see when we get up there. That's good for par. All right, another birdie putt to get it back to 
one up for me, one down for Steve. We always put these out, just ask Rory <laughs> how that feels. Putting that image in my mind. <laughs> Adam boy. Good putt. All right, back to one down. Let's go. All right, hole 17, par three, 166 yards. JT is now just one up. So on this hole, slightly downhill, and there is a bunker front left now, as you'll see when we get to the hole. But look at that slope to the right. If you don't get it up there, it feeds down, and it's a tough, tough chip or pitch shot. But those bunkers left are still there. Uh, it depends in that back portion. It's a tough, uh, tough pin to get to. That's the course yardage. It's probably not that far off from it. JT's going to shoot it for us. 165. 165. 10 cup here right before I hit. See now it's left. Instead of in. Yeah. 8 iron. Hey guys, switch! <laughs> that was a pull, but yeah, you'd have you'd been you'd have been fighting that one. I'd have been in Wynette County up there. Let me guess, you switched to the nine? Yeah, I did. Yeah, felt that wind switch around back behind us. So I'm just gonna try and hit a nice full stock nine, and hopefully the number's good. Okay. Another beauty. Get up there. Up there. Yep. All You're right. gonna see the line coming by too. Good shot, Mister. Thank hey, you. thank God we didn't do the part three video today. I think. Well, you birdied. Uh, what was that? Uh, three. Uh, I did birdie three. Yeah. And you birdied fifteen. Yeah. I I don't know. We'd It'd be been, close. We'd have been close on that one too. To apply some pressure here. I borrowed way too much. Good speed though. All right, this closes out the match if he makes it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> Felt good the whole way. Thanks, brother. Good job, brother. JT, thanks for coming out. Thanks so much. Two for up, me. you are just. A, we set it off camera, but this was just a peaceful day Great out day. here on the golf course uh, playing yeah. with you. We finally made it happen, mm -hmm. let alone film a match that uh, right. was a good match. I, I made I made something of it, even though <laughs> even though I got behind. But that's yeah. golf. Yep, absolutely. And you just got to battle through it, just like with mental health. Yes, totally. So it's, it's, it's a never give up attitude. So many aspects of golf, you know, teach you a lot of good qualities for life. And uh, and I'm just so thankful for you doing this mission and I appreciate you having me out. Yeah, I appreciate you sh sharing your story like you did. Yeah. I uh, just felt it brought us closer, you know, mm -hmm. you know, brothers in golf, so to speak. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, here we are, so love you, pal. Yeah, yeah. love you too. Yeah.